Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. My name is Dems, your favorite Jamaican Canadian YouTuber living here in beautiful Grand Prairie. What am I doing today, guys? I'm always talking about Grand Prairie and about the benefits, the drawbacks, the pros, the cons of living in such a beautiful city. So today I'm actually going on the road. I'm actually at Prairie Mountain. I'm gonna be talking to some persons, finding out what they think about Grand Prairie and just get their honest feedback for persons who are thinking of coming to this beautiful city, all right? Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash a like on the video and drop a comment guys. It really, really helps out the channel. Now before you even start the video guys, I just want to say that this video is powered by Ro. Now if you don't know what Ro is, definitely go and check it out in my video description right down below. It's a platform that gives you access to immigration consultants, immigration lawyers, settlement services officers, career coaching, everything you need to assist you on your Canadian journey, you can find it on Ro. And guess what guys, yours truly Demar is definitely here on Roo, so you can definitely go and check out my career services business. That, not, not career services, my settlement services business that we definitely launched on Roo as well. If you're thinking of coming to Grand Prairie and you need someone to help you navigate the turbulent waters and stuff like that, you can definitely go and connect with us on Roo. All right guys, link is right down in the description right down below. Now enough said, let's go, let's see what the people of Grand Prairie think about Grand Prairie. Come on. Absolutely. What's your name, please? Gabrielle Aldrich. Hi, guys. I'm here with Gabrielle, and you're from Grand Prairie. Yeah. How long have you been in Grand Prairie? Um, Roughly like 14 years-ish. Pretty much all your life? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> okay, what do you think about Grand Prairie, honestly? Um, honestly, I don't really know. It's kind of, it's a chill place, I guess you could say. It's a chill place? Yeah. Would you live anywhere else? Would I live anywhere else? Yes, I would live in BC. Yo, I would live in BC. It's so Why much would you nicer. live in BC in comparison to Grand Prairie? Is a question. Why would I live there? Yeah. The weather. The weather. Oh yeah, my gosh, course. that's crazy. Of course. So what's so bad about the weather in Grand Prairie? It's now, just so now remember, cool. you're talking to persons who are not yet in Grand Prairie. Okay. So what do they? Sh what should they look out for if they are moving to Grand Prairie? Um, a lot of weather changes. So it like goes like cold and hot, then cold and hot. And cold and hot, and then cold, 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 cold. Of course. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, you know what? Thank you so much yes, for being so course. awesome today. Right, absolutely. Hi <laughs> right, guys, I'm here with Megan. Um. Megan, what do you think about Grand Prairie? I like it myself. I think it's a good place to raise family. Yeah. We just had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. So we're excited to have a family here. Okay. Um, as far as bad goes, there is a little bit of crime, but you find that everywhere. Find that everywhere. Have you been in Grand Prairie for a while? How long have you been here? 15 years now. 15 years. Wow. What's the best thing about living in Grand Prairie? Best thing? I think the people. There's a big sense of community here. Big sense of community. It's all, it's totally fine. You can walk on through the video. It's totally fine. Okay, big sense of community. Um, do you find that it's easy to get jobs here? Or? I do, myself. Okay, awesome. Uh, would you live anywhere else? I would consider it, but I'm very happy here. You're very happy here. You know what? Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here with Reshna. I'm not sure if you guys are hearing her. She is a little bit camera shy. So hopefully you guys can hear her. She don't want to come on camera. But Reshna, what do you think about Grand Prairie? Uh, it's good. So far. So far? How long have you been here? Uh, four years. Four years? Four years. Yeah. Okay, and how's it been going? Is it a good city to live? Do you recommend anyone coming here? If you don't like busy cities, traffic, and a lot of people, then this city is really, really, really good. What's the I used to I used to live in Toronto, mm -hmm. but then I moved here after getting married. Okay. And if I think about going back to Toronto, I, it's like I can't. Live you there can't anymore. live there anymore. Because this city is really good. Like it's just taking me five minutes to go anywhere. Oh my gosh! Now what's the what's the I would say what's the worst thing about living in Grand Prairie? If you weather. had to the weather, oh my gosh, that's and crazy. Like I have. Mm -hmm. If somebody doesn't have a license or anything, they yeah. Have a car, then is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? That's all I needed to know. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us. Hopefully, next time you are a little bit braver to come on camera. <laughs> okay. We can't give all the information. Well, that's true. 
Hey guys, we are here with Terry and Vicky, two awesome people by the way. Um, you guys are now living in Grand Prairie for a number of years. Um, what do you guys think about Grand Prairie? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we came here to work and, and mm -hmm. uh, we're still doing that. So yeah. Once we retire, we'll probably move on to the Philippines. But, oh, okay. Um, but for now, it's awesome. We love yeah. it. Uh, we've yeah, been here since 1998. <laughs> That's a long time. And uh, in the oil patch industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it's been awesome. So question here, um, what's the best thing about Grand Prairie? It's a place, beautiful place. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's a beautiful it's, place. It's not too big. Mm -hmm. It's not too big, yeah. It's easy to get around. Yeah. It's, people are, are, are nice, are, mm -hmm. are, are good. Um, yeah, and, okay. and you you know you're isolated enough that you know where where wherever you want to go, like to the lakes and all that <laughs> kind of good stuff is awesome. Okay, so let's just do a follow up question on that. What's the worst thing about living in Grand Prairie? Well, I guess if you want to get into the bigger centers, Calgary, Edmonton, mm -hmm. Vancouver, you you know you you got to travel a ways, either fly or, or drive. Right? <laughs> or drive there. So yeah. That's kind of that. And the, the weather downside. maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I guess the weather is a bit yeah. deterring too, but I mean, you get used to it. I mean, okay. we've been in, in Alberta for all our lives type of thing. So you've been in um, Grand Prairie since 98. Uh, you said that when you retired, you might go to the Philippines. But one last question is, do you see your guy, yourself living anywhere else in Canada outside of Grand Prairie? Probably not. Our our kids are all here and, and okay. uh, this is probably between here and the Philippines. Like. Awesome. Probably well, six and six. Type. Thank you guys so much. That's all I needed oh, to welcome. know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here with Bolo. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. She just got here like uh, a few months ago from yeah. Calgary. Oh, okay. no, it's Sorry. She just got here from Calgary. And tell me what you like about Ramperi. <laughs> okay, so. Um, before I came to uh, to GP, I'm gonna yeah, Grand Ferry. Uh, I was kind of like skeptical about coming because you know the way my husband really portrayed like oh it's so expensive this that and all of that. So I'm like okay I don't want to come, but then I had to you know. <laughs> so when I came in May, I actually I was open to everything. So I went out you know from shopping to the recreations and all and. Um, First, when I when I went shopping and uh, I bought things, I found out they were the same price as car grade. So I had to confront my husband, like, oh, but you told me these things were expensive. Like they are literally like the same. Like you pay the same thing, right? And this place actually have like a higher income than car grade. And um, like he used to say, like there are opportunities here. Um, I've not really tried searching for a job anyway but then what I see online I believe like there are jobs and, and they would pay well <laughs> let me just believe that but then anywhere you go it's like seven eight minutes from your house so you don't have to like drive like 30 40 minutes <laughs> and that's something we deal with in Calgary you know so I found everywhere like within reach mm -hmm. so you are in GP even though they, they feel like it's a village, but then you have that city feel, okay. you know. So you have like all the you know shopping malls, you know. All the, I mean, I went to the to East Link, and I was I was just so blown away, you know. It's yeah, it's okay. So I was blown away, and uh, I mean, here is just so peaceful. I, I went to the store the other day and mm -hmm. I had a lot. I went there with like with three kids, so my hands were full, you know, normally. And then um, I bought things and they were like in two, I think it was in three places. So I had to like leave some in the store. And just these ladies behind me, they actually brought those things to my vehicle. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even say I needed help. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So what is, would you move permanently to um, Grand Prairie? Uh, well, it's actually something that I thought of and I actually shared with my husband, but it's just like, no, it's not into it. I keep bringing it up, like, you know, this, and it's like, are you really serious? So like, okay, you know what, you've paid for, you, you actually had like a down payment in Calgary, 
for a child care so like you can't let that go i'm like well if it's just that little price we have to pay well i don't mind <laughs> <laughs> you know? so really it's it's so much like <clears throat> there's something they say about like uh, uh like a town or should i say just like a small community like you have like a longer lifespan right because you know there's no stress mm -hmm. and while you're driving on the road oh my god i mean no one is really like honking or just zooming past you they all slow down they go at your pace i so much love that oh my god in calgary like i might be running later and upon i just have to like speed but no one is speeding here i mean of course there would be like some black sheep right <laughs> <laughs> guys you see she loves gp <laughs> you can, you can so tell me that she loves gp and and on. <clears throat> yeah and, and the houses are so like when you're renting it's so cheap mm -hmm. you know of course i know that uh buying a home mm -hmm. is kind of like not like the the, the, the house price itself but just like the what is it called uh the gp city uh payment that the taxes pay. yeah 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 mm -hmm. the property taxes that you pay and probably insurance right mm -hmm. might be kind of like high mm -hmm. you get because i i said somehow and they were like times four of calgary <laughs> you know but then if you're making your money like you know <laughs> yeah you've got to spend you it, don't on have to spend it on something <laughs> yeah so yeah i mean it's really cool <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> Yeah, guys, that was just a, a, a short preview of what Grand Prairie is all about. Yeah, guys, I'm always just telling you guys about Grand Prairie and, you know, all our pros and cons of living in the city. Um, sometimes it's good to hear from other people to hear what they think, what they think about the city as well. Just so you guys can get a feedback, right? 100%. Um, that's what the city is about. Hopefully you guys like this video. Smash a like on the video if you do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And you know what guys, just drop a comment, right? So just to remind you guys about a few, a few links that's in our video descriptions and what they are for. Um, of course, check out the Roe app. As I said, this video is sponsored by Roe. Ro is a is a is a is an app um, that allows you to connect with different professionals, including immigration consultants, um, immigration lawyers, career coach, uh, definitely Im, um, settlement services consultant like myself. If you're thinking of coming to Grand Prairie and you need someone to help you navigate um, the city in terms of help you get an apartment, help you understand um, just how to get a job. Um, airport pickup whatever it is you can definitely click on the link right down below and go into row and then select the kind of services that you need and then you'll definitely see a list of consultants that would be able to a list of options in the area that you're looking for would be able to help you and definitely um the best is on row right also guys um if you want to have a chat about um assistance with your letter of explanation for a study permit if you need help in writing it in terms of um understanding the details of what you should put in it you can definitely go and and just book um book us in for a little chat click on our calendar and see where it takes you you can definitely schedule that and then we can um assist you guys with that as well you can just click on the link in the description and it takes you where you need to go if you just need to understand um migrating in terms of using our own experience of course because we're not consultants if you want to just um have a chat with us um spend a 30 minutes or one hour chat you can book us um book yourself in our calendar as well by clicking the link in the description right down below all right guys that's very very important and as i said if you're thinking of coming to canada in general and you want to understand um the processes that's included in migrating in terms of step one to step ten link us check check it out man click on the link in the description right down below and definitely we'll be able to help you guys with that all right make sure that you check us out on instagram the anderson's originals is our name check us out on tiktok you might see nuts dancing oh, sorry you might see me and that's dancing that's um something that i'm still trying to get used to go and go check it out on tiktok and make sure to give us a follow um we are on facebook as well we are on row make sure you check that out already we are on all major social media platforms guys be sure to just show some support of course guys become a patron to our channel the link is in the description below what do you get as a patron you can request videos and we do exclusive content for our patrons and also you get one-on-one -on -one time with us as well by becoming a patron all right guys and it also supports our channel so the best way to message us is to become a patron and message us through our patron patron account the link is right in the description right down below 
of course this can be a very um, tr um i would say unsettling experience for a lot of persons and it helps to talk to someone who have been through it and let us help our experience to guide your experience all right guys thank you so much for watching this video and of course please make sure that you consider grand prairie as a destination if you're thinking of moving to alberta it's a city that i'm deeply in love with it's a city that um that i'm passionate about maybe you guys can tell and it's a city that will give you guys the best platform to start all right guys make sure you have smashed a like make sure you have subscribed and see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>